Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to the online class at English vocabulary for grade 8A. Here I am teacher Mr. Snaula and today I am going to start the last unit 15 of English vocabulary workshop book. Apart from the vocabulary words exercises, you will find the main text on pages 184 and 185. For this lesson, we have very clear objectives. We are going to understand the text as well as the meanings of the highlighted vocabulary words. A brief history of gold. This is a main lesson. This is actually an essay that is descriptive in its style. It tells us how much gold has been precious and valuable since the beginning of this universe. Many societies, communities, countries and nations have been using it as one of the mediums of trade, finance and other purposes. Still, it is regarded as a very precious and valuable metal in the world. Today, this lesson is going to tell us a brief history of gold. I am going to read the text and you will also follow me on the book, page number 184. Has there ever been a more precious commodity than gold? One of the rarest metals in the world, gold has been treasured, hoarded, sought after and refuted over. It was highly priced long before the concept of exchanging money began. A ruler's wealth and power coincided with how much gold he had. More gold equaled more power. Even now, some view owning gold as the ultimate in financial security. Recent scientific research suggests that gold and other metals were transported to the Earth's surface by meteors billions of years ago, though there is not yet authoritative evidence to confirm this theory. Gold is found in the form of dust, gains, flakes or nuggets. Surprisingly, gold is also found in seawater. Extracting it from water is expensive. Entrepreneurs attempting to recover gold from the sea will likely go bankrupt. The mining of gold began many thousands of years ago. Some of the oldest gold artifacts have been unearthed in the Varna necropolis. This ancient burial site is near Varna, Bulgaria. It contains an astounding cache of treasures. Skilled goldsmith of that era hammered gold into exquisite pieces including solid gold, masks, goblets and jewelry. On page number 185, we have another paragraph beginning from the words, the world's oldest known. The world's oldest known geological map, the Turian Papyrus map, created circa 1150 BCE or before the Common Era, indicates where the early Egyptians excavated their gold mines. Egyptians were so enamored of gold that they believed it to be a physical manifestation of the sun and the flesh of the gods. Their pharaoh's coffins were made out of solid gold. Because of its beauty and indestructible nature, it was valued by numerous other early civilizations from the ancient Mediterranean civilizations of the Manionans and Etruscans to the ancient American Aztecs and Incas. Gold was also used in religious rites. The legacy of age-old folk and fairy tales from around the world is full of wishes and dreams for gold. But how did the gold change from an object of beauty and worship to a legitimate official form of currency? Early on, people used the barter system to get most goods and services they needed. When haggling proved less than harmonious, people moved on to primitive forms of beads and fur, and many societies switched to using pieces of gold. The pieces were marked with weight and then turned into coins. The first gold coins were minted around 640 BCE in the ancient Roman province of Lydia. The Greeks also used gold coins. Goldsmith Ephraim Brasher created the first United States gold coin in 1784. Man's greed for gold inspired European exploration and violent conquest in Central and South America. Despots and tyrants on all sides had gold fever clamoring loudly for more and more riches. Fortunes were quickly made and even more quickly lost. The discovery of gold around the world led to gold rushes, including the famous California gold rush of the 1840s. 
The wild outpost of Sutter's mill attracted more than 40,000 hardy prospectors. Few found the mother load. Those who did were indisposed to share it. Many field prospectors returned home cynical, sadder and wiser, no doubt appreciating the seeing better an ounce of happiness than a pound of gold. My dear students, so far I have gone through the text of the lesson whose topic is a brief history of gold. In our next online session, we are going to solve the exercises of unit number 15. Hopefully you will stay tuned with the lesson. As a token of homework, I will advise you to revise the lesson and find the meanings of red highlighted words in the dictionary. Thank you very much and have a nice time.